Yeah. Look, um, like I, I told you uh, earlier, um, there's not spe- one specific thing that stood out. The whole service was was excellent. It uh, prepared me a lot. Um, from the CV, the the interview, mock interviews we had, the uh, the picture profile. Even though I think the picture profile is the one that actually caught everyone's attention. Um, so maybe that one. Um, but um, it helped me a lot. Um, especially the mock interviews to put me at ease to see what I can expect and uh, look like uh, I can't maybe stress it enough but it really put me at ease because normally I'm the one interviewing people but I haven't been on the other side of the table for a long time and and it really helped me and and calmed me down and and kept me focused the phone call helped a lot first so um I I talked to someone there. It sort of got lost. Um, I sent my CV through. Um, it took a while uh, for the process to work. And then all of a sudden, I was contacted by um, uh, an agency that said they they are doing webinars and would I be interested in looking at a webinar? And, and if uh, I can send my CV again, they will be interested. And that's basically how the whole process started. So... Inadvertently, I, I landed up into a, a recruitment drive uh, from a New Zealand company that, that like what they saw, invited me, and the rest is uh, history. So, yeah. yeah, there was one stage, I think it was during May, when I didn't get any feedback from anyone, and then all of a sudden, it's like the floodgates open. So, it's... um. You know, it's it's like everything. You work and you work and you don't see results. You don't see results. You almost want to lose heart. And then all of a sudden, everything just comes together. Nice. When you're dealing with someone who has 60 career projects with a range up to 89 million New Zealand dollars equivalent, um, and that's in South Africa. So if it would be in New Zealand, obviously we're looking at a multiple higher than what that would be for a roading project or a dam or whatever it was that got those high. And then when you have the reputation for rescuing projects, so what that says is the employer gets your skills of rescuing bad projects, which is a skill above a skill, <laughs> if you can say. Yeah. This bridge project was amazing the story behind the bridge project and the size and how it went through and the 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 flood came through this top left corner and wrecked the previous project manager's preparation Mm. and then they asked you to go into this team with which was demoralized yeah that's that's correct yeah yeah that was an interesting time so yeah, um, like you said, uh, the budget was blown up. We were we were destined to make big losses on this project, and uh, even though we didn't make money, we we ended up uh, break even. Um, but yeah, it's uh it's something that will always be in my mind. It it was an interesting time that one. And the bridge wasn't the only one. These are the large projects that you were engaged in. Uh, very diverse projects, uh, very interesting projects. And you, uh, I don't know what it is about your part of the world, but rescuing projects is one of those things that has a strong demand for some reason. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's probably because all our skilled people is in New Zealand or Australia. (laughs) (laughs) And you'll be here soon too. (laughs) Yeah, I'll be joining them. Ricardo, it was really great to work with you, and I look forward to further uh, assisting uh, your your wife, who's uh, been supportive in the background this whole time, and and now it's her turn. Yeah, no, definitely it's her turn. She she stood by me through everything, through all my tantrums, and you know when hey. things started, looks like it didn't want to work out. She was always there cheering me on. Yeah. Um, keep faith in the process. Keep faith in the process.